Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are jumping into the smallest premium box I have ever received. I promise this is a premium unboxing. The box was just tiny. So if you want to jump into my BoxyCharm April premium unboxing with me, make sure to keep on watching. I will also link up here my base unboxing so that if you haven't seen that yet, you can check out my base box. But this is going to, I've got some kitties behind me. This is going to be my premium unboxing. So if that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. I do upload every other day and that'll be the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. So if you want to jump into this unboxing with me, stay tuned. Okay, so first off, the box is tiny this month. It is still the premium box. It just fits in a much smaller package. As you guys know, the premium box is the $35 a month subscription box with a minimum box value of $175. So I guess in this instance, good things come in small packages. So let's jump into the first item out of the box, which as always is the theme card. The theme being BoxyCharm Sweet Treats. Very pastel, very spring, very Easter, very April. So the theme is right on par for the specific variation. Uh, this is the year 2021, so C21, uh, month 404. And this is variation 234. Whether or not that means there are 234 other variations, or it's like variation 2 version three, I, I don't actually know, but if your number ends with a 234, this is your variation. So first item out of the box, and I know my face is basically like mostly done. I'm gonna be demoing the products, but you know, there wasn't any base products in here. The first product comes from Wander Beauty. This is the Do Not Disturb Overnight Repair Concentrate, formulated with a 1% retinoid to amp up skin's natural renewal cycle and help diminish the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, uneven skin tone, and texture. Squalane and peptides hydrate the skin while improving elasticity, while Dragon's Blood helps to soothe skin from environmental stressors faced during the day. Retails for $68. Now, this is the product. This is mine. I have been talking about this product for months. It is a huge staple in my routine. Obviously not something I would put on before makeup. This is something I put on before bed. So that's not why I'm wearing it today. However, I can tell you because I've been using this for a while now, it is beautiful. My skin feels super smooth and plump the day after I use it. It is retinol based, so make sure you are using SPF with it. To use a retinol product and then not use SPF, you're actually doing more damage to your skin than if you skipped the retinol altogether. That being said, it is really hydrating, feels beautiful on the skin. 10 out of 10 love this product, which means at $68 value, this box is already worth it for me because I've already passed the $35 a month value to make this worth it. Next item out of the box comes from Nature and, I'm sorry, it's called Lux and Willow. This is a four piece reusable bamboo makeup removal pads. So I have been using bamboo and cotton rounds and not using single use rounds for several months now. So I'm already a fan of this type of product. These antimicrobial hypoallergenic reusable bamboo pads are designed to remove makeup, cleanse, and apply toner while reducing waste for the environment. Use the mesh bag included to machine wash and dry, retails for $20. I have a lot of these, but I can never use, I can always use more. So I'm excited to have four more to use. I'm gonna be honest, I have yet to find a cotton round that is reusable that I don't like. I just have ones I like more. Brandon tends to prefer the ones that are more cotton, less bamboo. I actually like the ones that are a little more bamboo, less cotton. So it's really a personal preference thing, but I will definitely be getting use out of these. Now the next item is gonna be the only one that I am not familiar with and will also not be using on camera, and I will explain why in just a second. This is from Natasha Denona. It is the Transfix Matte Concealer, a one-stroke full coverage ultra light formulation with exceptional staying powder thanks to the exclusive micronized pigments. It doesn't crease and lasts all day. Retails for $28. Now I did get to select my shade and I must have, clicked, must have clicked the wrong thing because I picked shade 6NY, which is a neutral yellow. Obviously I am a rosy pink undertone. This is the shade. It is not a horrible match, but it is definitely too yellow for my under eyes. So I did already put in an order for a shade that is a little more my match, which I will use in an upcoming video. So stay tuned, come back. I will use this in the future, but unfortunately I cannot use this on camera today because it is the wrong shade altogether. The next item out of the box comes from Incredible. It is the 
Crystal Ball Roller Gloss Duo. It did come in a cute little box, but it is a two pack of lip gloss with these really cute crystal roll on ball applicators. We're going to use this in just a second. The glossiest roller ball to date has landed with a crystal roller ball to cool and soothe the lips. The glassy formulation is infused with crystals to stimulate lip circulation, wake up the chakras, enriched with nourishing and hydrating properties. This is a two pack that retails for $24. I am gonna use this one today, which has the little amethyst in it. This is the shade, or I guess the Heal Yourself flavor, because they're both clear, but apparently they do have different flavors and different ingredients. So I'm gonna apply some roll-on lip gloss. Definitely high shine, feels nice and nourishing. Definitely like, doesn't have a strong scent or flavor, which I'm actually partial to. I don't love when things are super scented. Definitely high shine. Like my lips feel really shiny and hydrated. Definitely quite comfortable. All right, I'm gonna set up that to the side and let's jump into the next item in the box. This is an eyeliner from Dose of Colors. This long wearing creamy eyeliner glides on easy, easily delivering a transfer resistant high coverage matte finish. Built in sharpener included retails for $15. This is in the shade Loyal, which is brown. So I'm going to be using this for the eye look today, and I will be pairing that with the next item as well. So I'm going to set this down, and I'm actually going to smoke it out and almost do like a single liner smoky eye with this product. So I'm going to start by setting out a little bit of that liner and then taking a dense smudger brush, and I'm just going to pat that out and begin smoking it up to give us a nice, easy, smoky eye. All right, I did take a tiny bit of a brown shadow just to help it blend, but you'll notice it is a super simple monochromatic smoky eye that we're gonna use a topper on. So before I jump to the other eye, I'm gonna add this same liner to the waterline and the lower lash and buff it out in the exact same way we did the top. All right, and that's gonna be the base of our entire smoky eye. So I'm gonna go do this exact thing on this eye and I'll be right back. All right, I am back. All I did was continue to take a little bit of a brown shadow with that brown liner and smoke it out. And then I took a little bit of my face powder and I just blended that around the edges just to soften it. When you do a smoky eye with a liner, it's really possible to make a mess. So I like to go in with my face powder just to make the edges look a little more blown out. Now it looks good, but we're not done yet. Last item out of the box comes from Marc Jacobs, and this is the Sequins Glam Glitter Liquid Eyeshadow. Mine is in the shade Shimmy Dip, which is this gold with this like white champagne gold reflect in it. A crease and fallout resistance long wear liquid glitter eyeshadow that makes it easy to shine no matter the occasion. Formulated with a lightweight squalane, the shimmer pack shadow glides on easily before setting into place for an all day sparkle retails for $26. Now we have the base of our eye done, but I am gonna grab a shadow brush so we can pack this on. I'm gonna take it right from the applicator, pretty low to the lash line on the inner corner. And then once it's in place, going in with that little brush, I am just going to pat it out and make sure my lines are nice and clean and that everything looks blended. These type of liquid shadows are great for that like faux cut crease effect. All right, I'm gonna give that a second to dry down and then do the exact same thing on this eye, throw on some mascara, maybe a lash, and I'll be right back to finally talk about the box. All right, we are back and I think, like even though there's a lip gloss in the box, I would probably use this more as like a lip balm on its own, because I kind of want a little bit of pigment. But for the sake of this video, I guess this is going to be it. Let's jump through the items in the box and see how we feel about everything. So first, the Wander Beauty Do Not Disturb. Already told you, amazing product. I'm a huge fan. The cleansing um, cotton rounds, obviously something that I use pretty regularly. 
The concealer I did not use, but I will be trying once I get my correct shade. The liner was nice. I will say it's not the best brown liner I've used. I definitely prefer the Beauty For Real formula as far as a brown liner. That Whiskey liner is just all around so good. As for the sequins, the shimmy dip, I think it was nice, but I did have to layer it up a few times to really get some nice opaque pigmentation. It's not bad. It's just, you know, it needed a little bit extra. And I kept, I think I did two or three layers before I was really happy with the color. So all in all, probably a miss from me because the Stila are just better. Um, yeah, I, I prefer more of a liquid glitter versus a liquid shadow myself. Now, that wraps up the box. This box had a retail value of $181, which is above the $175 minimum value. Obviously, I definitely think this box is worth it. Totally got the minimum $35 price point just out of the Wander Beauty product. So throw in a couple extra products that I liked and maybe one or two I didn't love, but that aren't bad and it's still a win from me. So that being said, definitely a box that I'm enjoying. Let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.